Hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradermo, and today we're going to take a look at the US dollar Japanese yen. Um, but first, before we take a look at the US dollar Japanese yen, let's have a look at the US dollar or the DXY, which is the US dollar index. Now, the reason we're taking a look at the US dollar index first is because uh, we are at a very important level on the US dollar Japanese yen after breaking to the upside and um, confirming a bullish run towards the 1112 level. Now the US, uh, the DXY has broken with the 97 level and it broke very nicely with the 97 level before testing it again and continued its bull run. Now um, uh, as you remember the 9770 level is the level that the US dollar has to break in order for a, uh, a long-term bullish continuation and after breaking with the 97 level and testing it again uh, we can confirm a bullish run towards that level, which is a magnet, right? Right now we're in the middle of nowhere on the DXY, but the 97.70 level is surely a, mar a, a magnet, which will give us a very nice bull run. Now on to the US dollar Japanese yen. The US dollar Japanese yen uh, was in a very, uh, very structured bullish move from the lows at around 1850 to the highs are at or a retest of the 112 or the 112 level now after we tested the 112 level we uh, tested the bottom of the channel a couple of times before breaking to the downside when we broke to the downside it was a very bearish move to test again the one uh, the 110 or 10980 level and the 61.8 retracement of the entire move to the upside. Now that's this is a very important level because bulls um, got into uh, the um, pullback and uh, and uh, let me just um, thicken this out for you guys. We got into the pullback and we tested the 110.90 level again. Now the 110.90 level again is very important because it's a previous base. And a previous zone of rejection when we broke to the downside we we uh, came back and tested it again as resistance before continuing uh, our move to the downside when we bounced back up we tested it and uh, on Friday we closed uh, just below it but we had a very uh, important gap up during the weekend to retest it and then a continuation now we are at the 88 6 a retracement of the last move down but more importantly a very very important test of this trend line now uh, not only we are testing this trend line but we are currently at, a, at the previous point of control which is the zone or the exact level the, that the most volume has been traded in the past move to the downside now this is very important because um, sellers are going to be stepping in here and of course this is also a um, bullish target which means that we are going to have some bearish pressure and uh, what uh, we can expect expect is maybe a pullback before we break to the upside and we retest the 112 again and uh, maybe maybe and just maybe we can finally break with this level but again this all depends too on the US dollar and the break and the test or retest and break of the 9770 level so for the time being we are going to keep monitoring this currency pair and see where we can jump in on a, a long trade 